going on, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to a uh, another edition of What's in Stores, guys. This should be uh, episode uh, 51 now, so yeah, I actually get my hand signals right for once. So, but um, as you guys can see, I am outside of a uh, a very familiar place to anybody who is a big fan of like you know Southern comfort food, you know, it's Cracker Barrel. If you guys have seen my recent wave reaction video, uh, you guys know that Wave Two of NASCAR Authentics 2023, which is on the EL mold, even though it has the blurry decals, is going to be coming to retailers very soon. In fact, there's actually a Target that's right by me, so we'll have to check out and see if there's anything there. But from what I've heard, Cracker Barrel might have some cards that are in Wave Two, um, thanks to all you guys from Twitter from uh, finding that. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to see what those cars are. I'm probably not going to get the blurry decal cars, but I probably will get some better looking photos to show you guys just how bad these things look. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think the two I'm really looking forward to possibly get, if we can find this at a Cracker Barrel, um, as you can see with the very uh, vintage and country style look. I mean, heck, it's just, no, it's just a random building. <laughs> I wanted ice cream. But yeah. I'm really excited to gain that Josh Berry throwback from 2022, um, the Dale Jr. Looney Tunes car, and also the uh, Daniel Suarez Slam car, because, heck, I mean, it makes me want to go out and get a Grand Slam. Oh, wait, wrong uh, restaurant. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and start off this video and show you guys what's in store here at this Cracker Barrel, and I will, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys inside. Get it.
And already, guys, we have returned, and yeah, it's been quite a shopping spree right now, guys. I mean, uh, that's something you've never seen in a while. You know, a Cracker Barrel and a Target literally walking distance from each other. But heck, I guess that's the beauty of uh, NASCAR Authentics, am I right? Speaking of that, guys, if you guys have seen, I only got one bag in my hand, and that is a paper bag from Cracker Barrel. Like I just promised, we're going to be looking into what I got. I did not pick up any of the cars that were at Target because you guys saw what it was. It was those dread, those, those... Those freaking PTC mold cars, man. Oh my lord. I got a mouthful to deal with some of those, all right? I didn't pick up any of these because I still have, like, what, like two or three more of these to review for a rant. So stay tuned. So um, I'm not going to give out any hints, but you guys know the next rant review is going to be on a PTC mold. So, but it's a shame because all those throwbacks right there looks really cool. And I actually was able to see that car. <laughs> all three of those cars, actually. Um, even the car with the uh, the Bush logos, man. Um, even though I did pick up that that uh, Kevin Harvard Bush car, I do want to say, um, those Bush logos look kind of appetizing. So, I mean, I probably almost um, had a feeling I was going to go and probably get me a nice Bush light after looking at those logos. Because, heck, you know, it's supposed to be marketed for 3+. plus, But, uh, heck, I probably like a drunk bastard looking at those logos. But anyways, enough me just rambling on. Um, I don't even know what the hell that was. But today, we are now going to be looking at what we got right here in this paper sack, which is four NASCAR Authentics diecasts that we got for the Cracker barrel wave slash wave two and you guys already know i'm gonna i, I already found all the waves so those two exclusives are, are definitely a must but i'm gonna show you guys the first car we got right here well actually it's more like a truck this might look familiar but it's on uh chase elliott's uh 2022 hendercars.com uh spire motorsports truck um, as you guys know, I believe Chase Elliott, I believe he drove this, I uh, want to say Watkins Glen, if I'm not mistaken, because usually he is good at uh, those road courses, <laughs> even though he has yet to win. But, uh, you know, Chase Elliott's been kind of an unlucky uh, bad boy lately in NASCAR, so I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, heck, I, all the Chase Elliott fans are going to go after me now. <laughs> uh, but I really do like this truck, guys. And a lot of people are probably like, how do you know it's Chase Elliott? Well, look at that Napa logo, man. I mean, clearly don't know what the Napa know-how is, if you don't know what a Napa logo is, but... Really cool, guys. Like I said, this is the first time we ever got a Spire Motorsports truck. It does look like that number is a little higher up, but heck, it does have a blurry, de blurry decals. No PTC mold. But one thing I will say, I mean, I, I will admit, $7 for this packaging is really the size of my fucking hand. So as you can see right there, hey, um, definitely lacks. It, it, it looks uh, almost like the 187 scale packaging, which these aren't new. Cracker Barrel waves are not new, but anybody who is new to collecting for 2023, um, they usually just make like a limited uh, wave, um, like two or three, I think a year or something like that for Cracker Barrel, because uh, they have a partnership with Lionel and NASCAR Authentics. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know not everyone has a Cracker Barrel, so you will be shot out luck, but I got this in uh, Hunter, Hunter Creeks, Florida, so that's not far from Orlando. So if you guys are wondering about that, because I did went to two other Cracker Barrels uh, to find these cars and have had no luck. <laughs> so they had cars, but not the way two cars I was looking for. But this one, I'm really excited. But the packaging, it's not really interesting. But I do like the back. The back is really cool. You get the nice little check mark so you can check off the box. Um, kind of cool. It kind of looks like a, like a little, yeah, like a, what's it, not a, like a scavenger hunt. I, don't, I was supposed to say Easter egg hunt, but heck, that shit's already over. It's June, Brian. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to review that. Uh, you guys know I got a lot of people in here who likes the trucks. I mean, we're gonna put this as a live premiere, so heck, you know, let's get the let's get the uh, chat rock and roll. And who likes trucks? Damn it! <laughs> All right, and this next one, I'm gonna be very excited because this is gonna be one of the two cars that I can't emphasize enough. It has an exclamation point on it, so you know me, I'm gonna just gonna be, you know pretty crazy about this next car. But uh, for any Seabell fans, you are in luck because I did pick up his Yahoo. Or Yahoo! <laughs> that is stupid and cringy. Why did I say that? Um, Tony Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, hey, you guys clicked on this video, so what do you expect from an OBB video? But um, one thing I also got to say about this Cracker Barrel wave, guys, is that I like the packaging so you can see the car 360. It's really cool. Um, it's the only way you can probably find uh, if I find it, no, not, uh, any, uh, it, so you guys don't get any errors on your cars. But unfortunately, there was only one of each, and uh, the 20 right here. You probably can't see it, but where the two is, I mean, there is a little bit of a paint chip, but as you can see right there, not even a blind person can see that. But that's what the die cast are for. But really cool, got the Christopher Bell Yahoo car, and it's even got the uh, metal metallic rims, so really nice. Um, my God, it's just so great, guys, to have a die cast um, that is a good quality, even though it's $7, all right? I forgot to mention, these things are $7, but you know what, man? After all the shit that has happened with NASCAR Athletics, I am willing to pay $7 for these now because, heck... <laughs> Five dollars ain't gonna get you anywhere nowadays. I mean, heck, I look look at what they sell at Target for five dollars or six dollars. But yeah, those are the two I I'm really excited to uh, 
get in this wave. But these other two are going to be interesting, guys. So this next one, to go along with the exclamation points, we got ourselves Daniel Schwartz's Slam! Chevrolet Camaro for NASCAR Cup Series and Trackhouse Racing. But yeah, this is, I guess, like an organization uh, from the uh, car owner Pitbull. Um, it's like a sort of school fundraiser organization, I believe. So pretty nice. Looking forward to review this car. I mean, as you can see, this car does have still the colored rims. No chrome number and no uh, no banners because uh, those are the cut the, those are the reasons why these things are a little more cheaper which i do not mind and as you can see we still got ourselves a detailed white interior which is better than what you get with those plastic box that they have at target so <laughs> i and guys i am really impressed that nobody's buying these ptc mo cars guys i might pick up the david gillen or not david gillen good lord uh todd gillen this is 2023 brian the todd gillen aw root beer car but other than that i'm probably not playing any ptc mo diecast for quite a while Except for some rants, which, like I said and promised, will be coming soon. Um, all I can say, it's going to be either the Ty Dillon game car, the Austin Cindric Auto Trader, or Frightliner car. So you guys be the judge on that, but I know which one I'm going to be uploading. But getting sidetracked off here, back to the Slam diecast. Um, I'm looking forward to reviewing this because not only am I going to say Slam a lot, but um, seems like I just slammed a fucking monster or something. Because good lord, why? But like, why do I have so much energy after working? Well, you guys know me. I just love being passionate about diecasts, and this, I'm just really happy <laughs> I got this car, because this is just, what a kick-ass car. I think he's debuted this car uh, for a one and only race at Pocono. So, yeah, that guy just passed me in a Dodge Charger. I think he was in a rush. <laughs> Target run, and then get your shit, go home. Oh, wait, isn't that Walmart? But I'm going to show you guys the best for last. And this... I had the pleasure of seeing at the Xfinity race last year. If you guys already saw my Justin Allgaier throwback review from NASCAR Authentics. Um, well, we're going to have this one right here, guys. A lot of childhood memories with this car. And I kind of wish I have the original car to go along with the side-by-side comparison. But I can't wait any longer, guys. I was able to get Josh Berry's 2022 Tire Pros throwback to his boss, Dale Jr. in the iconic 2002 Looney Tunes car. That if you guys remember, that was a big thing that they had. Um, usually, I think it was on the Richmond weekend race, I believe. I think it was either an 01 or 02, but I definitely remember the body style was 2002 because it had that curved spoiler and the uh, the curved, uh, you know, you know what the Chevrolet Monte Carlo looks like in 2002. It just, and I had a lot, a lot of nice curves to it, guys. It was a really cool mold that we had. But this is pretty much an exact replica of this scheme, guys. I mean, down right to the details. Down right where the Looney Tunes characters would be. They managed to find a way to get creative, and this is cool. I mean, I would have loved to pick up the Wave 2 car, but since these came out first, I couldn't wait. And plus, I want to get the hype back going for NASCAR Authentics, even though I know it's going to die down when Wave 3 gets announced, because we know what Wave 3 is going to be. It's going to be PTC mold. But I am so happy to review this car. I think this might be probably... Uh, feel free to comment below these four diecasts that I commented. I mean, I, I, I mean I, I, I'm not a fucking mushroom or anything, but I got a feeling... That this is probably the first car you guys are gonna want to review. Just I don't know because I mean there's something about it that's uh it's junior, baby. It's fucking junior. <laughs> but in honesty, guys, second year in a row we got ourselves a Josh Berry throwback for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um God dang this car, man. So cool. But like I said, I am very happy with these purchases. So like I said, comment below which guys want me to which cars you want me to review as I'm trying to point in the right camera. The camera's over there, asshole. And we got ourselves a let's see, a receipt. But a very long receipt, almost CBS like and then a paper bag. Should I do one of those things where, I don't know, I could just, I don't know, be one of those weird YouTubers that just, I don't know, blows up shit? Well, we're going to end this thing off at the bang, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, What's the Doors video. It's been OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and I'll see you guys next time on another Diecast video. And, uh... Alrighty guys, we are back and uh yeah, that was something. How about that? I mean, uh, I did don't you always love it when you have uh another place that sells NASCAR diecasts that's literally right by it. Man, that's pretty cool. That's happened to me a few times with the Walmarts and Targets, but uh bitch. <laughs>